Okay, can I tag them everyone into one my Pokemon, my book Pokemon? I actually came across the footage for most of this video, as in the stuff that happened when we're out and about in town, and it was filmed back in January, and I just completely got so busy with everything that was going on that I forgot to put it together and make a video and put it up with the other videos on YouTube, so I'm finally doing that today. And what happened was Patrick, our seven-year-old started having what appeared to be asthma attacks back in I'd say August. We took him to the doctor the first time he had one. She was not so certain that it wasn't croup. He has had croup before and I had a video from our security system of when he was having the attack and she listened to it and she thought that it sounded a little bit croupy. Um, it was so intense and so bad when it happened, he couldn't breathe, and I had gotten out Sadie's nebulizer, and her nebulizer immediately ended it and made it so that he was able to breathe, um, which I thought was odd for croup, and also because it ended, it was over. He didn't have another cough for the rest of the day. Um, that was it which I felt like was kind of a red flag for asthma. Also, if you're new here, I have asthma. My husband has asthma. His older sister has asthma. Um, we wondered when he was a baby if he had asthma because he used to wheeze all the time. And as a little kid, he wheezed all the time and then it just sort of eased off. And then it happened again and it happened again. It wasn't super close together, but when it happened, it was really, really intense. Each time it happened, one time we had to use the nebulizer because he was just having a hard time actually using the inhaler and getting down how to use it, even with the spacer, he would be so panicked because he would wake up literally not able to breathe in the middle of the night. We would end up grabbing the nebulizer and putting that on him and it would work within a minute and he would be able to breathe again. And so we went back to his doctor and before all this started, he had been given an inhaler because he was having some real shortness of breath when he was running around and playing. We'd already talked to the doctor about that. He already had an inhaler prescription for that prior to all of this starting because we had noticed about a month before these night attacks started that he was having difficulty breathing and being breathless when he was running around. So we knew that there was a possibility of like exercise induced asthma. We were already aware of that. The nighttime breathing problem started and finally in January he got in to see a pediatric pulmonologist and they did his first pulmonary function test and it did in fact show that he had asthma. They think that his asthma is aggravated by allergies. Um, I guess August is a pretty typical time for asthma to flare up and that that was why it got worse then. Um, he does take Zyrtec every day, like just about everyone in the family. Since he's been on the preventative meds, he's only had to use this inhaler one time. It wasn't serious and so it does seem to be working really well for him. Anyways, this is a glimpse at our day the first time that we actually went to the pulmonologist with Patrick the day that he was officially diagnosed as being asthmatic. And if you're new here, Patrick is also autistic. He also has ADHD and he is our sweet Pokemon loving seven year old. <laughs> What's your favorite Pokemon? Mewtwo. I knew it. I mean Raichu. Definitely Raichu. Wait, you like Raichu more than Mewtwo? Both of them. The same amount. Exactly the same amount? Exactly. Who, who are you coloring right now? Pikachu. And his babies. Oh. This is an egg. It lives in its egg. The bottom part lives in its egg. It's full white. Oh. Until he evolves. Until he evolves. Wait, what does he evolve into? Is it like Togepi or something like that? <sighs> I can look. You can look at app. I love it. 
So good. That would be a long time for once. How you go? Okay. You guys working together? Just don't let Tessie have paints, okay? Have paints? Yeah, Tessie doesn't get to have paint. paint well, not paint? not today, not not right now. I'm not set up for Tessie painting. You mean that kind of paint? Yeah. Well, she doesn't have, there's no paint on that paintbrush. <laughs> you can color instead of painting if you want to, Megs. Would, would you rather color? Draw blue. Draw blue? Draw blue, blue. Yesterday when I brought out the markers, would you have rather colored with crayons instead of markers? Mickey, do you want to do crayons Mickey. instead of uh, paints? Because I can get you crayons out to do too. Huh? Do you want to keep paints out or put paints away? You can keep drawing your two tests. That is it for today. If you like this video, we'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in all things autism, we'd love it if you'd hit subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.